Hello all, and welcome to another YouTube video. I promise to continue painting the spread of my previous visit to New Orleans, and here is the second video of the sequence. Please give this video some love and share, comment and subscribe if you like these sort of videos. This building is one of many charming businesses that run along the French quarters of New Orleans. I remember we were on a voodoo tour of the town, and I was just snapping pictures of every beautiful building with the iconic Spanish architecture. I decided that I wanted to capture the blue hues of the day setting on this building, and I love using a big, flat, square brush to create an architectural painting. I feel like it gives it its nice, sharp edges and makes it look sort of undone, but done in a way. The brand of brushes I use as a beginner painter are the Simply Simmons brand, which are quite affordable. I get mine from my local Texas art supply. I believe they also sell them online. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description box below. I started off with some blue underlaying washes and cool tones of green and purple. Flat brushes are really useful for any sort of technique. As you can see, I'm also using them to create the plant and the foliage that are in the plant baskets. some brown to ground everything down and give it some depth and I just keep going to add more colors and more opacity to my um, painting and my washes. I also work my way into the sort of warmer shades of the picture where the light hits the exterior of the building and the interior. I added some yellow and the bright spots where the interior lighting and the exterior lighting hit the side of the building. In case you guys didn't know, the gray ram you see in front of this building is the first video of the painting series that I have uploaded already. So if you haven't already watched it, go ahead and give it a watch. In it, I sort of begin the sequence by introducing myself as an artist and how my travels to the French quarters went. So I just give you guys a little recap of how my trips went and how much I enjoyed being in New Orleans, in the French quarters at least. I'll be doing one video per painting of this two page spread on my sketchbook. So far I have done two and I have two more to go. So it's the church. St. Jackson Church that you see right there, and then another sort of residential building that I found in the French quarters. The brand I use for gouache is the Acrylla Type, which is a hybrid between acrylic and watercolor. The only difference between gouache or this gouache and other expensive brands is that Acrylla is more of a fixed paint and it doesn't reactivate after drying. Usually gouache can be reactivated much like watercolor can. I definitely was not perfect while painting this because I wanted to give it a disheveled paint brushy look. I've been feeling rather unmotivated with me trying to find an internship and working 
at a regular job, I hardly have time or the energy and need to create art. So I make myself feel accomplished by creating plant hangers from macram macrame rope, um, designing resumes for people, and logos as well. I find that it can be hard to begin a project, but once you've started, you can already start to feel productive and feel better about yourself. Take it day by day. If something doesn't fit in your schedule for XYZ reason, just leave it for tomorrow. Don't try to convince yourself that you can squeeze it in after a full 8 hour shift at your job. Working drains the mind and it hurts your creativity. You need to rest, drink, eat, take some sun and fresh air and then get back into it. I know all too well the feeling of unmotivation gripping its hands around you, but just keep yourself occupied with what makes you happy in the moment. Recently, I've developed an obsession of keeping plants in my room. I own about four. Three of them are succulents, and the fourth is a pink syngonium. It's a form of water plant that has speckles of pink and I'm just in love with its pink splattered leaves. It makes my room feel even more at home. It makes me happy to work in my room now because I can just look at my plants and see them happy taking in that sun and photosynthesizing away. Anyways guys, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this painting. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Um, please leave any com comments or suggestions on what you want me to paint next besides this series. Um, if you have any artist questions, anything at all, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'll be filling my description box below with the supplies that I used and all that. So, Anyways, hope you enjoy.
I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me ramble about artists and motivation, and hope you learned something by watching me paint with gouache. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have ways to get motivated and create art. Thank you.